Hello, everybody. Welcome to our live live podcast. This is Jenny, and this is Artemis. And coronavirus has been spread all over the world, so please take good care of yourself. And it is better to stay at home. If you have to go outside, please wear a mask and wash your hands frequently. We are proud to make a presentation of our factory and our PWM controller to you today. There are four parts for the introduction in our presentation. Part one: PWM controller FTC service. Part two: PWM controller FTS service. Part three: MPPT controller STMP service. Part four: comparison of about three service. All right. Now we will start part one. In this part, we are going to introduce our PWM controller FT2C series to you. FT2C series solar controller adopt PWM charger move. We have which have 10 amperes, 20 ampere, 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 60 ampere with 12 volt and 24 volt system voltage. They have two colors for orange colors and green colors. From 10 amps to 40 amps, there are two USB 5 volts 1 ampere and 5 volts 2 amperes connector. But now have a USB connector for 50 ampere and 60 ampere. And this series of solar controller only supports AGM and gel lead acid battery. If you want to build a solar system, just send the rate power of each appliance and the hours of using the appliance will calculate how many watts and pieces controller you need. Here are some of the features shown on the menu buttons. From the surface, there are three brass buttons. Let's look at the first one. When you press each software, you can see that setting on the display. As for the second button, when you press each software, you can see the menu on the LCD display. When you press it longer, it's setting. The third button, when you press it shortly, you can see on the LCD is state setting. When you press it longer, you can see you can see DC low button. And LCD display is very clear for you to check the situation such as clock timing, temperature, voltage, and so on. From the underneath, we can see the assist terminal connectors to connect the solar panel, battery, and DC load. This service is handy siding design, which is convenient to install. Especially, it has PWM charging mode, power of auto memory function, extreme low power consumption, built-in reverse protection, and short circuit protection. It is suitable for small power solar, sy sol solar system products such as solar street light and DC load products. Now, we need to pay attention to install the solar controller. When you try to connect, the solar controller must connect with the battery first turret so that the solar regulation can identify the system voltage, then connect with the solar panel and DC load. You also need to pay attention to correct connection between positive and negative electro. And this FT2C series is the Star PWM solar controller. Let's look at the sample. It has large LCD display screen and two USB connector. Yes, and 10 ampere, 20 ampere, 30 ampere are 40 pieces in one carton. 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 60 ampere is 20 pieces in one carton. All of them can apply for home, farm, office, and industry. Then is the connect masters. So we can see. Here is the battery voltage and then solar charger current temperatures, solar charging voltage, DC voltage protection, DC output voltage, and lining time. All 
Okay, that's all for this product. If you are interested in our products, please let us know. We will send you more details and a competitive price. Thank you for your support. Okay, this part is FTS controllers, introduced by Candy and Norris. We will see you later. Bye for now. Hi, this is Nora. We are professional factory for the solar controller. Today, I am very honored to, on behalf of our factory, to introduce our solar controller to you all. This is my partner, Candy. Hi, everyone. My name is Candy. Nice to join in this live broadcast. Okay, here is our FTS solar controller. Solar controller can apply in the home, farmer, office, and industry. As you can see, it is a green and a black color. Yes, it is fashionable. Green color is our favorite color. Now many kind of customers want to OEM green color. And our FTS series have three models. They are FTS. 1210, FTS 1220, and FTS 1230. It is it supports 12 volt or 24 volt system voltage and ready collect 10 ampere, 20 ampere, and 30 ampere. Uh, as we all know, the solar controller is connected with the battery and solar panel. External battery should be 12 or 24 volt from 100 and 150 AH. When it comes to the solar panel specification, FTS 1210, rate current is 10 ampere. When the external battery is 12 volt, the solar panel specification we record is from 100 to 150 watt. And the input voltage is 18 voltage. The external battery is 24 volt. The solar panel we suggest you take is from 100 to 150 watt and in the input voltage it is 36. Yes, FTS 1220 and FTS 1230 same volts. The ready current are 20 ampere and 30 ampere. Recommended solar panel specification for batteries FTS 1220 12 system requirement 200 watt. The input voltage is 18 volt. 24 system requirement 300 watt. The input voltage is 36 volt and FTS 1230, 12 system requirement 300 watt. The input voltage is 18 volt, 24 system requirement 450 watt. The input voltage is 36 volt. About the rating current, of course, if customer need to figure up here, we can do it. We support the OEM, fast ready the goods and provide best and official supplies to our customer. We have enough stores for our products. After the payment, the next day we can send the goods to customer cargo. Free Guangzhou cargo delivery. Great, Candy, please tell our solar controller standby current and working temperature. Okay. It is standby current is lower 10 ampere and working temperature from minus 35 degrees to 60 degrees. Well, let's look at the product. The size for FTS F1210, 1220, and 1230 are the same, and the long is 126 millimeter. The hard the meter is 36 mm and the high is 86 mm. Each piece is 200 gram and about the cotton, it is 100 pieces of cotton and the cotton size is <coughs> the long, the wide and high 
is 47, 30 and 55 cm and each carton is 36 kg. Then let's begin to introduce each part. We can see the top left corner. It is product name, solar charger controller and on the right is our brand. Right, now our brand already opened the market in the South East, Middle East, Africa and South Africa. Our company strongly promotes in all over the world. That sounds good. Let's begin to introduce more details. This is MCU control. Can we please explain this feature? Video. Okay. It, it is chip control. Control the solar panel charging. Okay, what about this? The step for voltage. For our FPS, FTS series solar controller suitable for three types of batteries. Number one, number one is this as this battery. The charging bat, the charging voltage is fourteen point three volt. Number two is this thin iron battery. The charging, the charging voltage is twelve point seven volt. Number three. Number three is lithium iron per, per five fourth phase battery. The charging voltage is fourteen point six volt. Cool. This is the timer function. It can set and control when this line open and close. And this is full protection function. The protection function have over current protection, soft circuit protection, and open circuit protection, and the battery reserve protection. Oh, now well, you forget one protection function. Oh, really? Yes. It also has double most tip, anti reverse circuit protection, which provides battery current from blowing Blowing back to the solar cells at night to cause power loss and more. It has power on memory function can automatically memory retention of use last standing. Oh, these are important function. Candy, you are so good. Also, you can see the middle. It has a large screen LCD display. It can fully show the charging and discharging parameters. And this is three bottle here. Okay, yes. On the left, this button is menu. You can set up programs. On the middle and right is up and down button to choose programs. Okay, how about this two USB? Well, it is DC 5 volt and 2 ampere. You can charge your mobile. Okay, as we all know, the solar controller have two types, PWM and MPTT. Our FTC FTS is PWM. About the solar energy to the electricity can be about 80% conversion rate. Okay, let me introduce more. Our this model solar controller adapt adapt complete three phase PWM charging management constant current move constant voltage. Routing charging mode. Okay, pretty good. Let's open here. You can see here, it has six pieces connected and divide into three parts. Connect the positive and negative part for the solar panel, battery, and DC lamp respectively. Candy, can you tell me how to connect? Of course. The firstly, please connect the battery and then you can connect the solar panel finally 
connect the DC load, the connection strength of power of the controller is very important. Well, okay, this is all about FTS solar controller. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody, welcome back to our live broadcast. This is Jenny. And this is Artemis. As we know, there are two main types of solar controller PWM move and MPPT move. The transfer rate of MPPT is higher than PWM. So in this part, we are going to install a service of MPPT controller SDMP. Let's have a look at this product video first. Alright, there are 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 60 ampere and 100 amperes available for this type of controller and transfer the range of them are up to 95%. This series can automatically recognize the voltage according to the system. The system type is, is 12 voltage, 24 voltage and 48, 48 voltage. Yes. Let's take a look at the function of ST to MP. Bottom menu, bottom down, bottom up, bottom enter, and LCD screen display. And LCD screen can display charging current, battery voltage, charging power, battery capacity, solar panel voltage, power generation, DC output. Up to 40 amperes are built in solar data mon monitoring interface RS485 and cooling fan. The hanging design makes it con convenient to install. There are three types of charging mode. The first one is constant current. This mode is function that protecting electrical appliances and stabilizing current. The second mode is constant voltage. When the voltage is rise to a certain stage, it will come slow down. And the last mode is floating charging. That means charging with a small current when the battery is almost fully charged. Yes. The maximum period input voltage of solar panel is 100 voltage. You need to pay attention to the cable specification. Wire diameter need to be larger than 10 square millimeter copper wire is strongly recommended. And it is suitable for lead acid battery, colloidal battery and lithium ion battery. You can also adjust the charging current and voltage by yourself. Yes, and almost all of MPPT controllers are with our current protection, short circuit protection, overload protection, over discharge protection, and high temperature protection. The last things, you need to pay attention to the solar panel. Let's show you the specification of solar panel <coughs> if you want to buy this controller. If you have 12 volt battery installed to a 30 ampere controller, you need to input mass 18 voltage and 400, 450 wattage solar panel. If you have 48 volt battery installed to a 60 ampere controller, you need to input mass 72 voltage 3400 watt solar panel. Now let's show the connection method here. Firstly, must connect the battery to the solar controller. Secondly, connect the solar panel to the solar controller. And lastly, connect the DC load to the solar controller in terminal. And please note that the positive and negative electrode can be reversed. Yes. What if I reverse the positive and negative electrode? Will it cut in a short circuit in the controller? No, because there is a short circuit protection. If you reverse the positive and negative electrode, the controller will not work. Is this ST control, STMP controller waterproof? Can it be installed outdoor? 
not exactly. Almost the solar controllers are not waterproof, so we don't suggest installing outdoor. So what kinds of battery can be used? Lead acid battery, coli battery, lithium battery. What is the maximum temperature limit protection? It is over 70 degrees Celsius, so it will not be damaged easily. What is the recommended voltage solar controller for the light bulb only? The light bulb voltage is based on the battery installed to the controller. What are the voltage rate and current rate? For voltage, it is 12 voltage, 24 voltage, and 48 voltage, and the current range is 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 60 ampere, and 100 ampere. What is the warranty and cover rate? It is one year for warranty. You could send back to us if there is any quality problem during this period. How many units in one box? There are two specifications, 8 pieces in one carton and 4 pieces in one carton. The last question, what is the lead time of delivery? Almost about 7 to 15 days, but we will deliver goods as soon as the deposit is received. Yes, thanks for explanation. So now we are going to stop here. Give the rest to the Candy and Laura. See you next time. Bye bye. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for your watching. Now we begin to talk about the differences between PWM and MPPT. PWM, the commercial rate is 80% and the commercial rate for the MPPT is 95%. So the commercial rate of the PWM is lower than the MPPT. So normally the price for the MPPT is higher than PWM. What is the difference between FT S series and FT C series? FT S series have 10 ampere, 20 ampere, and 30 ampere. FT C series have 10 ampere, 20 ampere, 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 60 ampere. The shape of the FTS and FTC is different. The shape of FTC is more fashion and more popular now. Number three, FTS is small LCD display and FTC is big LCD display. And FTC, the size is bigger than FTS. Number four, FTS, FTS supports leather battery and lift island far face battery. FTC only supports leather battery. Number five, FTS series is cheaper than FTC series. Number six, in general, the cost performation of FTS higher than FTC. Okay, let's talk about the differences between FTS, FTC, and STMP. The size, as you can see here, it is uh, more bigger than the FTS, FTC. And uh, the shape also look at look different. And the rate current for the FT MP is bigger. It is 40 ampere, 60 ampere, 80 ampere, and 100 ampere. Bigger than the FTS and FTC. And the FTF support lead acid battery, lead battery, and core store battery. FTS support the lead battery and lead battery. And uh, this one, FTC only support the lead S battery. 
the system voltage FT MP can support from 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt. And FTS and FTC only support the 12 volt and 24 volt. Thanks, everyone. This is all about our solar controller today. Any need and any question, welcome to scan this card to contact us. Thank, Thank you. you. Nine, seven, two, one. Start. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our live broadcast. This is Artemis. This is Jenny. And coronavirus has been spread all over the world. So please take good care of yourself. It is better to stay at home. If you have to go outside. Please wear a mask and wash your hands frequently. We are proud to make a presentation to our factory and our PMW, PWM controller to you today. There are four parts of the introduction in our presentation. Part 1, PWM controller FTC series. Part 2, MPPT controller STMP series. Part 3, PWM controller FTS series. Part 4. Comparison of about three surveys. Alright, now we'll start part 1. In this part, we are going to introduce our PWM controller FT2C series to you. Yes, FTC series solar controller adopt PWM charging rule. Which one have 10 ampere, 20 ampere, 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 50 ampere and 60 ampere with 12 volt and 24 volt system voltage? There are two colors, light orange color and green color. From 10 ampere to 40 ampere, there are have two USB 5 volt, 1 ampere and 5 volt, 2 ampere connector. But no have a USB connector for 50 ampere and 60 ampere. And this series of solar controller only supports AGM and gel lead acid battery. If you want to build a solar system, just send us the rated power of each appliance and the hours of using the appliances. We will calculate how many watts and pieces controller you need. Here are some of the features shown on the main menu button. For the first for the surface there are three black buttons. Let's look at the first one. When you press it, software, you can see a step setting on the LCD display. As for the second button, when you press it software, you can see it in menu on the LCD display. When you press it longer, it's setting. The third button, when you press it shortly, you can see on the LCD is state setting. When you press it longer, you can see DC load pattern. An LCD display is very clear for you to check date situation, such as clock timing, temperature and voltage, and so on. Yes, from the underneath, we can see there are six terminal connectors to connect solar panels, battery, and DC load. The service is handy style design, which is convenient to install. Especially, it has PWM charging mode, power of auto memory function, extreme low power consumption, building reverse protection, and short circuit protection. It is suitable for small power solar products such as solar street light and DC low products. Yes. Now we need to pay attention to install the solar controller. When you try to connect it, solar controller must connect the battery first so that the controller vibrator can identify the system voltage and then connect the solar panel and the DC load. You, you also need to pay attention to correct connections between positive and negative electro. This FT, FT2C series is the Star PWM solar controller. Let's look at the sample. It has large LCD display screen and two USB connectors. 
Yes, and 10 ampere, 20 ampere, 30 amperes are 40 pieces in one carton. 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 60 amperes are 20 pieces in one carton. All of them can apply for home, farm, office, and industry. Yes, that is the connection to Mr. This one is battery voltage, solar charging current, temperature, solar charging voltage, DC voltage protection, DC output voltage, lighting time. Okay, that's all for FT Tuesday series. And if you are interested in our products, please let us know. We will send you more details and competitor price. Thanks for your support. Okay, next part is for STMP MPPT controller. As we know, there are two main types of solar controller. P PWM move and MPPT move. The transfer of the, the transfer rate of MPPT is higher than PWM. So in this part, we are going to introduce a series of MPPT controller ST to MP. Next, we would like to introduce more details for you. Yes, all right. There are 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 60 ampere, and 100 ampere available for this type of controller. The transfer rate of them are up to 95%. This series can automatically recognize the voltage according to the system. The system type it is 12 voltage, 24 voltage and 48 voltage. Yes, let's take a look at the function of the STMP. Bottom menu. Bottom, bottom down, bottom up, and bottom enter, and the LCD screen display. And LCD screen can display charging current, battery voltage, charging power, battery capacity, solar panel voltage, and power generation, DC output. Up to 40 amps are built in solar data monitoring interface, RS485, and cooling fan. The hand hanging style designs make it convenient to install. And there are three types of charging mode. The first one is constant current. This mode is the function that protecting electrical appliances and stabilizing current. The second mode is constant voltage. When the voltage is rise to a constant certain stage, it will come slow down. And the last mode is floating charging. That means charging with a small current when the battery when the battery is almost fully charged. The maximum period input voltage for solar panel is 150 voltage. You know to pay attention to cable specifications while diameter need to be larger than 10 square millimeter copper wire is strongly recommended. And it is suitable for lead acid battery, corroded battery, lithium ion battery. You can also adjust the charging current and voltage by yourself. Yes, almost almost of MPPT controllers are with our cup are with over current protection, short circuit protection, overload protection, over discharge protection, and high temperature protection. The last piece you need to pay attention to the solar panel. Let me show you the specification of solar panel if you want mm -hmm. to buy this product. If you have 12 volt battery installed to a 30 ampere controller, you need to input mass 18, 18 volt 450 wattage solar panel. If you have 48 volt battery to install a 60 ampere controller, you need to input mass 72 voltage 3400 watt solar panel. 
Now let's show the connection method here. Firstly, must connect the battery to the solar controller. And secondly, connect the solar panel to the solar controller. And lastly, connect the DC load to the controller to the terminal. Please note that the positive and negative electrode can be reversed. Yes. What if I revert the positive and negative electrode? Will it pass in a soft circuit in the con controller? No, because there is a short circuit protection. But if you reverse the positive and negative electrode, the controller is not work. Oh, it is STMP controller waterproof. Can it be installed outdoors? Not exactly. Almost the solar controllers are not waterproof. So we don't suggest installing outdoor. So what kinds of battery can be used? Lead acid battery, colloid battery, lipid battery. And what is the maximum temperature limit per person? It is over 70 degrees Celsius. So it will not be damaged easily. What is the recommended voltage solar controller for the light bulb only? The light bulb voltage is based on the battery installed to the controller. So what are the voltage rate and current range? The voltage range is 12 voltage, 24 voltage and 48 voltage. And the current range is 30 ampere and 40 ampere, 60 ampere and 100 ampere. What is the warranty and coverage? It is one year for warranty. You could send back to us if there is any quality problem during this period. So how many units in one box? There are two specifications. Eight pieces in one carton and four pieces in one carton. The last question. What is the lead time of the delivery? Almost about 7 to 15 days. But we will deliver goods as soon as the deposit is received. Yes, thank you for explanation. So we are going to stop here, give the rest to Candy and Dora. And welcome to subscribe our channel and like our Facebook. Hi, welcome back. This is Nora. We are professional for the solar controller. Today, I am great honored to, on behalf of our factory, to introduce our solar panel to you all. This is my partner, Candy. Hi, everyone. My name is Candy. Nice to join in this live broadcast. Okay, here is our FTS series solar controller. Solar controller can apply in the home, farmer, office, and industry. As you can see, it is green and the black color. Yes, it is fashion. Green color is our favorite color. Now many customers want to OEM green color. And our FTS series have three models. They are FTS 1210, FTS 1220, and FTS 1230. It supports 12 volt or 24 volt system voltage and ready collect 10 ampere, 20 ampere, and 30 ampere. Uh, yes. And it, as we all know, the solar controller is connected with the battery and solar panel. Extra battery should be 12 or 24 volt from 100 and 150 ampere hour. When it comes to the solar specification, FTS 1210 rating current is 10 ampere. When external battery is 12 volt, the solar panel specification we record as from 100 and 150, and the input voltage is 18 volt. If external battery is 24 volt. The solar panel we suggest you take is from 100 to 151. The input voltage is 36 volt. And FTS 1220 and FTS 1230, same volts. The ready current are 20 ampere and 30 ampere. Requirement solar panel spe 
specification for batteries FTS 12 FTS 1220 12 system requirement 200 watt. The input voltage is 18 volt. 24 voltage system requirement 300 watt. The input voltage is 36 volt. An FTS 1230 12-volt system requirement 300 watt. The input voltage is 18 volt. 24-volt system requirement 450 watt. The input voltage is 36 volt. About the rating current, of course, if customer need the figures up here, we can do it. We support OEM, fast ready the goods and efficient and best service to our customer. We have enough stores for our products. After the payment, the next day we can send the goods to customer cargo. Free Guangzhou cargo delivery. Great, Candy. Please tell our solar controller standby current and working temperature. Okay. It is standby current is lower 10 ampere and working temperature from minus 35 degrees to 60 degrees. Well, let's look at the products. The size for FT 1210, 1220, 1230 are the same. The long is 150-25 millimeter. The wide is 36 millimeter and the height is 38 millimeter. And each piece is 200 gram. About the cotton, the cotton size from the high white and long is 47, 30, 50 centimeter and it is 100 pieces of cotton and each cotton is 36 kilogram then let's begin to introduce each part we can see the top left it is product name solar charger controller and on the right top is our brand right now our brand already opened the market in the South East, Middle East, Africa and South Africa. Our company strongly promotes it all over the world. That sounds good. Let's begin to introduce more details. This is MCU control. Deep place is print of this feature. Okay, it is chip control. Control the solar panel charging. What about this? The set flow voltage. Our FTS series solar controller suitable for three types of battery. Number one, with with test battery. The charging voltage is 14.3 volt. Number two, the thin iron battery. The charging voltage is 12.7 volt. Number three, this iron far face battery. The charging voltage is 14.6 volt. Good. This is a timer function. It can set and control when the DC light open and close. And this is full protection function. It has overcurrent protection, short side quick protection, open the side quick protection, and battery reserve protection. Oh, Nora, you forget one protection function. Oh, really? Yes. It also has double move tip, active reverse circuit protection, which provides battery current from flowing back to the solar cells at night at night to cause power loss and more it has power of memory function can automatically automatically memory function memory retention of use last standing these are important functions candy you are so good 
Well, also you can see the middle. It has large screen LCD display. It can fully sort the charging and discharging parameter. And this is free bottle here. Yes, on the left is menu. You can set up program. On the middle and right is up and down button to choose program. How about this true USB interface? Well, it, it is DC 5V and 2A. You can charge your mobile. Okay, the solar controller has two types. You can see our this model is PWM. About the solar en energy to electricity of the PWM can be about 30-80% conversion rate. Let me introduce more our this module. Solar controller adapt complete three phase PWM charging management constant constant collect mode and constant voltage and routing charge mode. Okay, pretty good. Let's see here. We can see here it has a six connector and divide into three parts. of the solar panel, battery, and DC lamp, respectively. Candy, can you tell us how to connect? Of course. Firstly, please connect the battery, and then you connect the solar panel. Finally, connect the DC load, the connection, the connection strength of the controller is very important. Okay, let's talk about the differences about the PWM and MPPT. About the PWM and MPPT, the big difference is conversion rate. The conversion rate of PWM is 80% and conversion rate of the MPPT is 95%. The conversion rate of the PWR is lower than MPPT, so the price of the MPPT is higher than the PWM. And then what is the difference between FTS series and FTC series? Number one, FTS series have 10 ampere, 20 ampere, and 30 ampere. FTC Series have 10 ampere, 20 ampere, 30 ampere, 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 6 ampere. 60 ampere. Number two, the ship of FTS and FTC is different. The ship of FTC is more fashion and more popular now. Number three, FTS is small LCD display. And FTS, FTC is big LCD display. And FTC size is bigger than FTS. Number four, FTS supports little battery and lithium iron far phase battery. And FTC only support little battery. Number five. FTS series is cheaper than FTC series. Number six. In general, the cost for the motion of FTS higher than FTC. Okay, last but not least. FTS, FTC, and FTMP, what is the difference? The size for FTS MP, you can see here, it is bigger than FTC and FTS. And also you can see their shape is different. And uh, the rating current of FT, STMP is 
40 ampere, 60 ampere, 80 ampere, and 100 ampere. It is bigger than the FTS and FTC. And the STMP support the acid battery and the battery and the cold shock battery. And FTS support the acid battery and the battery. And our FTC only support the S battery. Finally, the system voltage for the STMP is 12, 24, 48 volt. And FTS and FTC only support 12 and 24 volt. That's all about our solar controller today. Please screen our channel and like the Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you.